What's up guys and welcome back to another Motorhead episode. In today's video, we are going to be putting our F-150 on the frame machine so that we can get the frame straightened out, get, get it to drive straight, you know, get all the body parts on it. But before we do all that, we need to get the shop cleaned up because we haven't been really addressing that issue recently. So it's gotten really messy. So let's go clean that up and get this truck on the rack. Alright, so we're ready to get the truck on the frame rack and uh, we need to run down to Bohannon's and grab this upper left or upper right apron. So we're going to hop down there and see if he's got one. Hopefully he has one. If he does, we're going to take it off. Let's go. Handle it there for a second. Got it out, didn't you? So we got the new piece right here. Got a couple other used parts. I'm about ready to die. About ready to die. About ready to go, you mean?
what are you up to Yuri? Oh, uh, I'm just making me a template right here so I can cut this. I need to make sure that I don't cut it too short or too long. And right here you can see I'm going to overlap it. So we are going to have two seams. One seam is going to be here. One seam is going to be here. And then we'll have a seam going like here. So it's not just going to be a butt weld. Because what that's going to do is it's going to distribute the yeah yeah it's the going to be strong over like more surface area over you guys get what i'm saying box it in pretty much all right so um now what we need to do is uh use the torch and put some heat on it you know probably yeah. probably put this boom over there and uh use that uh deep hook that we have and then use some you know some mild heat make right. it rojo caliente get some mild heat on it get that main dent out yeah yeah all right, let's do it. All right paul's gonna go ahead and drill out this piece get it one step closer All right guys, so check that out. We got that out really good. What do you think, Gary? Is that pretty good? Yeah, it's good enough. So what we want to work on right now is we want to get these control arm mounts straightened and also work on the kink in the frame and get that out. Ah. bit of an issue there yeah that bolt stuck in there so we're gonna try something yeah so let me cut it off that was that was crazy bro did you see that Yuri physically installs the new piece. Magically, it slips right into place. find another hook like this mark what we're doing is uh adding us another tower you know kind of rigging it up <laughs> yeah we lost we only have one pulling tower so there's no way to pull this so we're going to make a little attachment here with some hooks this is going to hook to the what you were saying this is going to hook to the edge of the frame and by using that long part of it as leverage is going to hold it and we'll be able to pull this way and that way at the same time.
All right, guys, so check this out. We had to get this bent bracket from the junkyard. Only one we could source. It's supposed to look like that, and Yuri is about to fix it. Yeah, we need to uh, probably heat it up. Yeah, heat it, bend it back into place. Yeah, let's do that. You definitely don't want to look at that. Pull this here. Should fall right into place, right, Yuri? Yeah. Uh, we're not gonna pull it like this, though. I don't know who did this. Oh, we're not. That was no. me. <laughs> Is that you, guys? What do you we're need? We're going to use this thing right here. Let me shoot a question at you. Let me throw a part number your way. Let me throw a part number at you. Oh, Did you get hit in the neck? <laughs> that was the dumbest Perks thing. of the job, bro. Come on, man. I don't know what to do here. Uh, probably just... We need pulling. to come straight down with it. Yeah, we need to come straight down with it somehow. Okay, so here's what I need to do. I need to just hook it straight down with a hook.
All right, guys, we got this piece all fitted up. Suspension put back on. Got that frame rail primed in. Soon this thing will be ready for body work. All right, guys, so check that out. We got the frame ready for some paint. We got all this ready for some paint. The support comes on and off very simply. Everything's just about ready for some red paint. Yeah, just very easily. I mean, okay, yeah. very easily. Got that in there, primed up. Primed, okay. So we're gonna let this dry up a little bit and then we're gonna put a little bit of black paint there and some red paint there. And Did we'll he use some sealant for that to put those plastic pieces back on? Um, I don't know yet. We're gonna have to figure something out about that. But we'll let you guys know. You need to get all this off. What is all so, this for? That just needs yeah, to be degreased. All right, so Paul went and got us some of this flexible foam here. It's a two-part solution. It goes into this double pump right here. How does it go in, lad? Like this? Bigger side. Does it? Yeah. Or is it? It's the same on this one. Some of them have different sizes, but this one's the same. Okay. So I guess it's one to one, right? Yeah, one to one. So you gotta take this out. You wanna keep this right here in case you don't use all of it. True, and probably Vlad, won't. Vlad wants to use some of it on his car afterwards. We actually never have tried this stuff, so first, first time. time trying it. Let's I'm surprised see. they had it in stock. Where'd you go, CarQuest? So it says to get rid of the very first amount. Yeah, it's like moonshine, you know? Oh, good. It's, it's great. It's going to be identical to what was on there. Oh, yeah. It's already expanding. Yeah, it's Oh, nobody timed it. We'll time it on the second one. They said 40 seconds to completely be done. Is this supposed to be sticking out that much? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly how it was. Yeah, you can't only use it one second. Yeah, you can't stop it. Are you going to use up the whole thing? No, I'm not going to use up the whole thing, but this tip. Oh. If I stop this, I won't be able to use this tip. And oh, we don't okay. have more it's going to expand inside the... Yeah, it expands in there whether it comes out or not. Once you mix it, it's... That's it. That's all she wrote. I think the 40 seconds is pretty accurate. Yeah. And then look, we're gonna save this piece by doing this. Yeah, plug that bad boy up so we can glue this. this yeah, you plug that up. up. Look at that. Boom. So this is the original stuff that was here. And as you can see, it's pretty much the same. I feel like this is only darker because it's old. This will, it's probably the same stuff, 3M. So it's not as clean as it was before, but I think it'll work. Yeah, what do you think, Paul? I think it looks good. A yeah. little bit stronger. Oh, did you did you know about hey that there was a bunch of stuff stuck in this drain right here? Cleaned it out. Wow. Yeah. It was completely no it was completely blocked. There was no way water was coming.
All right, so we got the framework done on the F-150. There's still a lot of little adjusting and tweaking to do, but that will be, happen once we start doing the actual body work on it. Uh, so we're gonna, uh, that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to follow us on Instagram at motorhead.co. Peace out.